Assalamu alaikum, grade 7. Welcome again to the biology session. Actually, this is session the aim of your curriculum. The lesson for today, the aim of your biology book. The lesson for today, lesson number 4 in chapter 8. This is the last lesson. And this is lesson talking about the human life cycle. After we talking about the how the reproductive system work and the all human body work in this book, biology book. Now we can talking about the human life cycle, beginning with birth to out your life to arrive or ending with death. So today we're going to talk about the all characteristics that have any periods in our life. Before going in our lesson today, you can watch in this is animation video to describe the human life cycle. So, this is the human life cycle, beginning with birth, going throughout your life, and ending with death. Now, you can go in to our lesson today, and the big question here in our lesson, that what changes occur for infancy to adulthood? Actually, what's the meaning of infancy and adulthood? Actually, infancy that's describing the period for babies and adulthood for the adult people. So, this is point talking about the period and different characteristics for each period for our life, for beginning birth or babies, infancy to adulthood, so with babies to adulthood, and the, and the difference between the ages for each period. Actually, beginning with infancy, the change that takes place between infancy and adulthood including two factors number one physical change or physical change such as increasing in size the human body and that's also including mental change what the meaning of mental change some processes by brain of your body so mental change as or such as the ability to communicate with on other people. So, first period in our life, during the first year to two years in our life, there is period called infancy. That's baby for babies. A baby's shape and size change greatly as an uh, infant develops like head and body grow for the babies in this period 
and the nervous mu and muscular system beginning to develop by the end of this is period and this is period called infancy and actually the baby that have specific characteristics here in this is period number one can baby hold up its head and crawl in the surface and walk after the end of this is two years and learning to speak one word or two words something like that now we can go into the next period in our life next period in our life called childhood what's the meaning of childhood childhood that the next period after the infancy after two years ago for the age of year of the baby beginning with periods number two in our life childhood usually that's begin after two years age and children grow taller and heavier become just like that after baby childhood taller than and heavier and more coordinated was the meaning of that that can coordinated meaning responding the orders for the fathers or the brothers or sisters responding the orders so more coordinated as the practice skills such as the walking using a pencil and children show growing with more curiosity and, and increased mental abilities mental like anything or any processes having during the brain like communication and more emotionally and responding the orders and actually in this is period of our life we talking about the in learning the language and helping children to learn to read and some of beginning to play a games and solving some simple problems so again you you should know in this is period uh, about the very important characteristics in this is period just like that the human body that's grow up taller and heavier and more co more coordinated and some skulls begin to grow like walking and language mental ability like language read and play games solving some problems and something like that and actually in this is period that the games more important in this is period so the more important activity in this is period that's play games in childhood that's that beautiful so now you can go to the next period here the next period in our life cycle or human life cycle that's called adolescence and actually before that in lesson number two in this chapter that we can uh, talking about the adolescence adolescence that's period responsible of occurring some sexual properties for male and female so let's say at which children become adults actually the same adults and physically and mentally so physically and mentally like adults in this period and that's called adolescence actually adolescence gradually increases their ability to think correctly think correctly in this is huh? in this is period and their bodies also and grow a specific physical change like what I said like some perverses are sexual perverses actually sometimes between the age of about uh, nine years so step number one or period number one in our life that 
and pregnancy that's beginning with birth to two years and after that childhood for two years to nine years after nine years to five 15 years that the called it the adolescence or another name we talking now girls and boys enter the puberty puberty is the period of physical sexual development and that may lead to the ability of reproduce so the difference between the adolescence and the puberty that the occurring the physical sexual development here and ability to reproduce and beginning to complete grow up the main organs for the male and female reproductive system and hormones protected by some glands important glands you can remember it for the endocrine system and that's called pituitary glands and that's take place specific in the woman ovaries and the boys and testes so the ovaries and testes can containing the glands to produce specific hormones for the puberty and this is gland called pituitary glands actually that periods that can make the girls and boys begin to look more like adults and in girls evaluation and menstruation begin in boys problems producing start with the mental and emotional emotional growth continuous after future puberty so here more than characteristics occur in this period puberty. like beginning to produce the egg and sperm in the male and female and that goes the glands work in ovaries and this and produce the specific hormones and this is period between the nine years and 15 years now you can go into the next period after the infancy childhood and adolescence or puberty now we can talking about the adulthood and what's the meaning of adulthood and when beginning this is period like adolescent adults continue to learn new things actually this is period beginning after about the age of 30 and beginning the going often become more visible and are uh, as people in this age their skin becomes way more wrinkled and just like this is picture for adulthood period after 13 years and their muscles strength decrease and as same points in their 14 and 15 women stop women stop monitoring and avoiding so stopping to produce any more eggs in our in, in her ovaries and the man in this is age they produce smaller quantities of sperm and see so this is the most important characteristics here in the adulthood so the adulthood that continue different periods in the same this is in this in this is period adulthood beginning with the 13 to going to up actually the more important characteristics here that stop producing any exo in sperm cells in male and female reproductive system in this is period and you can see the difference between the adulthood and the adolescence 
now you can going to make a summary for all what we learning today for the life cycle of the human body number one or period number one infancy and that's talking about babies shape and size change gradually and some mental and this is physical changes and some mental change happen like ability to communicate number two childhood that's beginning after two years to actually nine years and the more characteristics here children grow taller and heavier and become more coordinated as they, they practice skills such as walking and using some pencils and more the skills for language and going to other periods adolescence or another name puberty or adolescence that's the period happen or cure the physical sexual development that may lead to produce the sperm cell and egg cell to ability to reproduce and the last state or period here in the human cycle or human life cycle adulthood that's the end and the end of this is period death and the most important thing in, in this is period the woman stop nursing and evaluating and the man in this is ish that produce more quantities of sperm cell now this is the last point in our lesson I hope you understand to understand more you can watching this is video that make a summary for all this is periods in our life developmental benchmarks including physical characteristics and hormone levels are used by doctors to gauge how a person is developing relative to their peers a baby changes greatly between birth and its second year of life at birth a baby is dependent on its parents as it grows its nervous and muscular systems develop and the baby learns to hold up its head crawl and then walk by the time it's two years old a baby has learned to speak follow instructions feed itself and play with toys by two years of age children have begun to grow taller and heavier they become more coordinated and gain skills children are curious and childhood is a time of increasing mental abilities language skills improve rapidly and most four-year-olds can carry on conversations children learn to read play games and solve problems and become more social with their peers adolescence is a time of transition in which children begin to become adults physically and mentally adolescents take on adult responsibilities and their bodies undergo physical changes between the ages of 9 and 15 boys and girls enter puberty puberty is a period of sexual development that leads to the ability to reproduce hormones produced in the pituitary gland and the ovaries in girls or the testes in boys control changes in their bodies after puberty mental physical and emotional growth continue into adulthood after about age 30 signs of aging become visible skin may show wrinkles and muscle strength decreases eventually fertility declines in both men and women by practicing healthy behaviors Adults can remain active throughout their lives. You got it? Should you know? So, I hope you understand for listening the lesson today. And this is the end of our curriculum in biology book. And I want you to study well.
thank you for listening our lessons and